What is going on guys, it is Panjano here and today I'm going to bring you guys the ultimate FPS increase guide for Apex Legends Season 2. Whether it's your first time watching one of my FPS guides or if you've watched my previous Apex Legends Season 1 launch optimization video, this video is going to be building upon and overhauling tons of optimizations shown in the previous videos alongside giving you guys brand new updated optimizations to the new Season 2 update. This video will help you achieve the very best performance possible on your machine with inside of Apex Legends Season 2. Regardless of your system spec, whether you guys are running on the latest and greatest in gaming hardware, all the way down to lower and potato laptops if you can boot the game and get into a match regardless of your fps we should be seeing the best results possible from watching this video if you guys do enjoy this video and you are happy with the results at the end of it please do press the like button as it helps me out tremendously alongside leaving any results questions queries or suggestions for other content you'd like to see come to this channel or you'd like to see me cover in the comment section down below now before we start off with the optimizations it's actually incredibly important that you guys are running on the latest update of windows 10 as the latest may 2019 update which introduced windows 10 version 1903 actually applies a ton of optimization especially to you guys running on Ryzen based systems and other multi-core CPUs allowing you guys to get a lot better FPS from the get-go. To check if you guys are running on the latest version of Windows, take yourself onto the bottom left hand side, then type in Winver just like so and then press enter. You can then take yourself up to the top left hand side where it says Microsoft Windows version and it will then say the Windows version. We're looking for version 19.03 or newer. If you guys have an older version of Windows, so a number lower than 19.03, I can show you guys how to update that very easily and quickly using the description down below. But for any of you guys running on 19.03 or newer, simply go ahead and press OK and we can continue on. For any of you guys out there who need to update your version of Windows, it's very simple and easy to do. As long as you're on Windows 10, take yourself into the description down below and you'll see a link titled Windows 10 Update. But inside of here, simply take yourself to the link provided, you'll be brought to this page here. Take yourself over to the Windows 10 May 2019 update, select Update Now, download the utility, it will then go ahead and download the latest Windows update, install it for you and get you up and running. So kicking things off, what we're going to be doing is navigating to the description down below and you'll be finding the Apex Legends Season 2 FPS Increase Pack available for download below. You'll see two links. Try out the first link. If for some reason the first link doesn't work or you can't download the file from the first link, try out the second one, download the file and put it onto your desktop. You'll then be given a file named Apex Season 2 FPS by Panj. What you then need to go ahead and do is simply navigate over to the file, right click and you should have the option to extract here. If you don't have the option for extract here, don't panic. You simply just need to take yourself over to Google and either Google WinRAR or 7-Zip. It doesn't matter which of the programs you get, you only need one of them, install one of the programs to your PC, come back to this step in the guide and you should then be able to right click and select extract here. Once you guys have done that you'll then be given a folder on your desktop with an identical name. So starting off what we're going to be doing is actually installing our brand new season 2 optimized configs. To do this what we're going to be doing is navigating into the FPS pack provider by double clicking and heading inside of the configs folder. With inside of here you'll then be met with four configs. You'll be met with high end, low end, competitive, recommended competitive and ultra low end. These folder names pretty much describe completely what the configs are tailored towards. For most people watching this video if you're looking for the most competitive competitive config, which also makes the game still look relatively nice, you want to be going with the recommended competitive, but if you want the lowest end everything turned off and you want the best performance possible, go with the low end competitive. So simply go ahead and double click on the folder containing the config you wish to go with. I'm going to be going with recommended competitive. You will then be met with a video config and an auto exec. Now I know there's probably a lot of you out there right now wondering why an auto exec is being featured in a season 2 config as the auto exec was actually disabled within some of the recent updates. The reason we're going to be installing it to our game is just to make sure if they re-enable it in the future after they've done some tweaks, that this will automatically be enabled when they re-enable it. This is completely fine to have installed to your game, it just simply won't be read by the game until they re-enable it with inside of the server files if they wish to do so. So once you guys have met with this page, what we're then going to be doing is dragging this over to the right hand side, and we're then going to navigate into the bottom left hand side and click on the Windows key. We're then going to proceed to go up to the Documents tab found here and click on it once. We can then drag our documents over here on the left hand side. We can then proceed to go down to Local Disk C Drive, go inside of the Users folder, then go inside of your PC's name, for me this is going to be this profile, or the administrator name. You're then going to be looking for the saved games folder within inside of this folder, it will have a slightly different icon, click on it, and you're then going to be going inside of the respawn folder. Go inside of Apex, Local, and within inside of here what we're simply then going to be doing is dragging over the video config found within inside of the FPS pack provided, from the right hand side, into here, and then replacing the file within inside of this destination. Once you guys have done that, you've now successfully installed your optimized game config. We can exit out of the left folder, and we're then left with the auto exec. To install the auto exec, it's relatively simple and easy to do. First of all, what we need to do is actually navigate into the Apex Legends installation directory. Now, if you have the shortcut on your desktop, this is incredibly easy to do. You simply right click and open file location. For any of you guys out there who do not know where your game is installed to and you don't have the shortcut, take yourself down into the bottom left hand side and just simply search Apex. Right click on the Apex Legends application and open file location once again. Once you guys are inside of this folder, right click on Apex Legends once again and hit open file location and you'll be brought to the directory. 
Once you guys are inside of the game directory, what we're then going to be doing is navigating inside of the CFG folder found here. With inside of it, we're simply going to be dragging and dropping the auto exec with inside of this folder and replacing the file in this destination if you already have one. If you don't have an auto exec already in here, that's absolutely fine. It will just simply be dropped in. We can then go ahead and exit out of both the folders. We've now successfully installed our season two optimized configs. Piggybacking off of that step to make sure that everything runs properly, we're now gonna be setting up our refined season two launch options. To do this, what we're gonna be doing is navigating into the FPS pack provided once again, this time going inside of the launch options text document by double clicking. With inside of here, you'll have to do a few minor adjustments depending on whether you want to set things up differently or not. And that is gonna to be to your dash refresh rate command found here. This is going to match your monitor's refresh rate. For me, I'm running on 240, so I'm simply going to be setting it up just like so. Once you've set the launch options up, we can then simply take ourselves over to the right-hand side, highlight all the way to the left-hand side by dragging, right-clicking, and selecting Copy. What we can then go ahead and do is actually open up into Origin, head over to the Apex Legends installation, and right-click. Once you guys have right-clicked on Apex, go down to Game Properties. Then go to advanced launch options, then navigate down to the command line arguments tab. If there's anything with inside of here, simply use backspace or delete and get rid of everything with inside of here until this is blank. Then simply hit control and then V on your keyboard, then go ahead and press save. Once you guys are done with that, we can then simply minimize origin. Now proceeding on from there, we can actually apply some EXE or application fixes to the Apex Legends application itself, further optimizing it with inside of Windows. If you guys have watched my previous video and you've done this step already, make sure that you do repeat this to ensure that they are still enabled, as the latest Windows update would have reverted many of these settings back to the default value. So to do this, what we're going to be doing is navigating back inside of the Apex Legends installation directory. So again, right click on the shortcut and open file location. Inside of here, we're then going to be scrolling down to the R5 Apex application, right clicking, selecting properties, going to compatibility and ensuring that disable full screen optimizations has been checked. And also going to change our DPI and override the high DPI scaling behavior check that box, press OK, apply and OK. You can then go ahead and actually exit out of that folder and navigate inside of the FPS increase pack. With inside of the FPS increase pack, we're then gonna be going inside of the optimizations folder, heading inside of the Apex EXE priority, and with inside of here, you're then going to be met with these four files. You're going to be met with Apex above normal priority, high priority, and normal. These registration keys will activate and actually change the priority mode with inside of Windows permanently until you come in here and revert this for Apex Legends. Meaning that every time you boot the game, if you select high priority, it will boot Apex Legends in high priority with inside of Windows. This is highly recommended to do, and I actually do this for pretty much every single game I play, not just Apex, as it ensures that Windows is driving most of your resources towards the game and not background tasks, reducing stuttering, and more importantly, boosting FPS. But for most of you guys watching this, double click on Apex High Priority, select Yes, then notify that the changes have successfully been applied, press OK, and you're good to go. Proceeding on from there, what we can now go ahead and do is actually open up Origin once again to apply a very quick fix. For this fix, what we're going to be doing is heading into the top left hand side, clicking on Origin, and then going to Application Settings. But inside of this page, what we can then go ahead and do is actually navigate all the way to the right hand side to the More tab and click on Origin in Game. Head over to the Enable Origin in Game flicker switch and actually switch this to the Off position. This will help out drastically with reducing micro stuttering. Once you guys have done that, we can then simply go back to the main Origin page or exit out of Origin. For another fast and effective FPS optimization, we can take ourselves down to the bottom left hand side, select the Windows key, and then type in Reg Edit just like so, and then press Enter. The Windows Registry Editor will then open up. But inside of here, what we're going to be doing is actually heading over to the H key Current User folder and double clicking. But inside of here, we're then going to navigate down to System, double click once again, and then go down to Game Config Store, double click, and then double click on Children. But inside of here, simply right click on the Children folder and select Find. But inside of here, what you're then going to type in is R5 Apex, just like so, and hit Find Next. Once you guys have searched for that, one of these random folders will then be highlighted, and that will be the Apex Legends folder. This basically allows Windows to apply its full screen optimizations to the game, so deleting this folder will force Windows to use the normal mode, basically meaning that your game will run a lot better because it doesn't have this excess stuff running on top of it. So once you guys have found the folder, it will more than likely have a different name than me because I'm just using a random folder for example because I've already deleted mine. Right click on the folder, it's highlighted, and then select delete. I then ask you if you're okay for doing that, press OK, and we can then exit out of the registry editor as optimization has been completed. Proceeding on from there, what we can now go ahead and do is actually boot up into Apex Legends to further tweak and set up our in-game video settings for our personal preference and to match the configs on which we installed earlier on. So simply go ahead and boot up into the game. So once you guys have booted into the game, take yourself to the bottom right-hand side and click on the settings cog. With inside of here, then select the settings tab. And what we're going to be doing is starting off by going ahead and actually changing this to windowed mode at the top. And I recommend setting it to 1280 by 720 and pressing apply. The reason we're going to be doing this at the start is it makes it a lot easier to set up your in-game options as the game is running in a window mode. So what we're then going to be doing is dragging the game over to the right hand side, 
We can then go ahead and actually open up the FPS increase pack. With inside of the FPS increase pack, take yourselves into the configs folder once again, and then go inside of the in-game settings folder found with inside of here. And with inside of here, you'll then be met with high end, low end, medium end, and ultra low end settings. With inside of here, you'll simply go ahead and actually double click on the text document which matches the system specs you installed your configs for earlier on. So if you're running on a medium end machine, go with medium end. If you're on a high end machine, go with high and vice versa. For me, I'm going to be going with the high end game settings. So simply double click on the text document in which you wish to actually set your game up for, and you'll be given a list of the settings on the left hand side. At this point what I like to go ahead and do is take myself back over to the game, drag the game just over a little bit so you can easily read the settings and set them up perfectly. Take yourself back over to the bottom right hand side, click on settings, go to video and what you'll simply do is you'll go through this entire list and match all of your in-game settings to match the ones with inside of the text document. Make sure that you set your display mode back to full screen and your resolution properly then go ahead and press the apply button and you're then good to go. So to start off with the baseline, we're going to start with the power mode or power options with inside of Windows. To do this, what we're going to be doing is heading over to the bottom left hand side and typing in power plan just like so. Click on any of these options here with the battery with the cord going around it, doesn't matter what the option says, just click on one of them. Once you guys are inside of a tab that looks very similar to this, take yourself up to the top to the directory and, and click on the option for power options. With inside of here, take yourself over to show additional plans and we're actually going to be looking for the ultimate performance plan with inside of Windows. If you guys do not have the ultimate performance power plan, it's actually very simple and easy to set up and any Windows 10 user can set this up for free and it's highly recommended that you do so. So if you don't have the ultimate performance power plan, simply minimize yourself out of the power options, take yourself back into the FPS increase pack, then double click on the command text document. With inside of here, take yourself up to the right hand side, highlight all the way to the left, right click and copy everything with inside of here. You can then go ahead and exit out, then take yourself down to the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows key and then type in CMD just like so. Now before we actually open up the command prompt, it's very important that you do this, otherwise nothing will work. Right click on command prompt and make sure that you run it as an administrator, because if you don't, the command won't be registered. Once you guys are inside of the command prompt as an administrator, simply then go ahead and press Ctrl and V on your keyboard. It should look very similar to this, then press enter. You'll then be met with the power scheme GUID ultimate performance this line of text found here. Once you guys see that, you can then exit out of the command prompt, take yourselves down to your taskbar, open up the power options once again, hit the refresh button in the top right hand side, and you should then be seeing the ultimate performance power plan with inside of here. Once you guys see it, simply go over to it, highlight it. Once it's then been selected, you're then good to go and exit out. Now, before we continue on, we're not actually finished with the Windows power options just yet. What we're going to be doing is actually navigating into the FPS increase pack provided once again, this time going inside of the optimizations folder, and we're going to be looking for the quick CPU setup version 3010, and actually go ahead and double click on that. And the setup wizard will then open up. At the bottom side of the screen now, you'll be seeing a brief explanation as to what this program does and why you wish to use it. Just know that this program is completely safe to use, and it's one of the most important optimizations with inside of this video. What we can then go ahead and do is press next, accept the terms, press next, next and install. After a few short moments the program will then be installed, make sure that the launch option down here has been selected and then press finish. Once the program is opened up it can look a little bit intimidating but it's actually very simple and easy to use. What we're going to be doing is heading over to the top left hand side and starting off by going to system power plan. With inside of this drop down menu select the ultimate performance power plan in which we set up earlier on. You can then proceed to go down to the bottom left hand side to core parking index, drag the slider and drag it all the way up to 100% allowing Windows to be able to use 100% of our CPU cores as and when it needs to. Again take yourself over to the right hand side to frequency scaling and again set this to 100%. And last but not least, for some of you guys watching this video, you might not have this option, but if you do have the option, also take yourself over to the Turbo Boost Index, and again, drag this up to 100%. Once you guys have got all that set up, go ahead and press the Apply button. Once that's then done, go ahead and press OK, and we can exit out of the program as everything has been set up correctly. Now for the final power optimization with inside of this video, we can actually take ourselves down to the bottom left hand side, and we can actually revisit a program we opened up earlier on. So once again, go ahead and type in reg edit just like so. Once you've then typed that in, press OK, and registry editor should then open back up. You can navigate all the way back to the start just like so, and what we're then going to be doing with inside of here this time is navigating into the HQ local machine folder and double clicking. Navigating down to the software tab, double clicking once again, scrolling all the way down to the M section as we're going to be looking for Microsoft. Double click on the Microsoft folder. Once we're inside of the Microsoft folder, we're then going to be scrolling all the way down to the W section and we're going to be looking for the Windows NT folder. Go inside of Windows NT, go inside of current version, scroll all the way down to the M section once again and we're going to be looking for multimedia. Double click on the multimedia folder, this time go down to system profile but just click on system profile just once. We can start off by going to the right hand side to the system responsiveness key. Double click on system responsiveness and you're going to be setting this value differently depending on your system specs. For anyone running on an ultra low end, low end or medium end PC, set this value to 1. Any of you guys running on medium end to ultra high end PCs, set this value to 0. Once you guys have got that set up, go ahead and press OK. Then take yourself back over to the system profile folder, but double click on it this time. Go into tasks, 
then navigate down to games. With the side of it, we're simply going to be changing four options, starting off with GPU priority. With the side of it, set the GPU priority to 8, and then press OK. We're then going to follow that up by going over to the priority key and setting this value data to 6. Press OK once again, then navigating down to scheduling category, and then setting this to HIGH for high. Press OK, and we're also going to be doing the exact same for the SFIO priority. So once again, HIGH. Press OK and we can then exit out of the registry editor as everything has been applied. For another couple of quick hot fixes in which we can actually apply to Windows for some very quick and effective optimizations, starting off with Discord. Every single person watching this video, if you have Discord open or you use Discord frequently whilst playing games, not just Apex but practically anything, Discord is defaultly set up to use your graphics card as a hardware accelerator to make sure it runs faster. We can navigate into the advanced options with inside of Discord to manually turn this off. You will not notice any slowdowns with inside of Discord itself, but this can drastically help with stuttering issues even on high end PCs. So to do this, what we're going to be doing is navigating into Discord, navigating to the bottom left hand side to your user settings cog and clicking that. On the left hand side once again we're going to be looking for the appearance tab and click on appearance. Inside of appearance scroll all the way down to the bottom to the advanced options, find the option for hardware acceleration and set this flicker switch to the off position. Press OK to the pop-up that comes up, Discord will then restart and everything will be applied successfully. Once you guys have installed the latest GPU drivers, it's incredibly important that you take yourself into the FPS increase pack provided. You'll then take yourself over to the GPU settings folder. With inside of that folder, you'll then be finding necessary screenshots in which you can actually follow along with for the best NVIDIA control panel and AMD Radeon control panel settings. These are the settings you can access by right-clicking on your desktop and opening either the NVIDIA control panel or the AMD Radeon settings. And last but not least, for any of you guys running on NVIDIA cards, you can also open up the NVIDIA Profile Inspector tool very quickly by double clicking. Then within side of it, what we're simply going to be doing is navigating down to where it says 1, 2, and we're looking for Sync and Refresh. Navigate down to the option for Frame Rate Limiter Mode and double click on it to allow it to become editable. With inside of here, what we're then going to be doing is going to the drop down menu and we're then going to be looking at the numbers. We're looking for 0x04, just like so, PS Frame Rate Limiter 2, Control Delay Flip by Flip. Once you guys have got that option selected, just make sure that the number is 4 on the end of the zeros and you're good to go. Go ahead to the top right hand side, press apply and we can then exit out of the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. That now brings us on to the last and final step for this video. Before we go ahead and actually apply that last and final optimization, it's best recommended that you actually restart your machine to ensure that everything has been applied properly, you're on a fresh boot of Windows, and you're good to go. So to do that, take yourself to the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows key, right click on the power option, select restart, come back to this video, log into Origin, and get ready to continue on with the last and final step. Welcome back to the video guys, you guys should have now restarted your PCs and be ready to continue on with the last and final optimization. For this optimization, what we're going to be doing is actually navigating into the FPS increase pack once again, navigating inside of the optimizations folder, and dragging the folder for ISLC version 1010, onto your desktop. Now at this point most of you guys are probably wondering what this program is. This program is actually a much more advanced version and also has other options to a program I used to recommend in my original Apex Legends optimization video and that program was Time Resolution. This program actually has the Time Resolution program built with inside of it but it also allows you to purge the standby list and free up excess RAM with inside of your machine to drastically improve stuttering in most demanding games alongside leaving headroom for excess RAM to ensure that you're not running into a stuttery mess and can also improve FPS in most games as well. This is probably one of the most important important optimizations with inside of this entire video and paired with most of the other optimizations with inside of here can pretty much eliminate any stuttering issues you've been experiencing. So to set the program up, what you'll go ahead and do is actually double click inside of the folder and open up the intelligent standby list cleaner by double clicking. If the program doesn't automatically open up, take yourself to the bottom right hand side, click on the icon tray and you should then be seeing this weird heartbeat monitor looking thing. Double click and the program will open up. So there's a couple of things we have to do with inside of it to set the program up for your system. We can then go ahead and actually check the box for enable custom time resolution. With inside of the box we're then going to be setting the value of 0 and then simply change this to 0, 5, 0 just like so. Once that's then set up, take yourself over to the left hand side, start off by going to the first box and typing in 1024. For the second box, what we're going to be doing is taking our total system RAM or memory and halving that number. You can find out what your total system memory is in megabytes at the top here. So for me, I have 16,000, which correlates to around about 16 gigabytes of RAM. So for me, I'm actually going to be setting the value of 8, 1, 9, 6. Just simply take the number at the top, roughly half it, and you're good to go. Your number will more than likely be different to mine, but if you're on 16 gig of RAM, set yours to 8196. Once that's then set up, simply then go ahead and press the Purge Standby List button found here, then click Start, you can then minimize the program. I'd recommend doing that every time your PC is booted up just to make sure that the program is running in the background. Once you guys have done that, we've now completely finished with the optimizations and we're then good to go ahead and actually boot up into the game. So then simply take yourself over into Origin or the desktop shortcut, double click and boot into Apex. And there you guys have it. There is my ultimate FPS increase guide for Apex Legends Season 2, bringing you guys many overhauled optimizations alongside brand new optimizations for Season 2 and with inside of the Windows 10 Summer 2019 update. 
Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Again, if you did enjoy this video and are happy with the results, please do press the like button. Alongside letting me know of any results, questions, queries, or suggestions for other content in the comment section down below. If you guys do enjoy content like this and you wish to stay updated with the channel, please do consider pressing the subscription button alongside the bell notification to be notified instantly of whenever I upload. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. I've been Panjano, and I'll see you in the next one.